With example 2 of subtracting integers, we're asked to evaluate f minus g if f equals negative 4 and g equals 3. So this is the same as uh, the previous problems we looked at, only we're given variables and asked to substitute for those variables. So we'll write out our expression, f minus g, we're given f equals negative 4. So we'll substitute negative 4 minus, we're given that g equals 3, so we'll substitute 3. And then we add the additive inverse, so this equals negative 4 plus negative 3. Both values are negative, so we simply add the values and keep the negative sign. So this ends up equaling negative 7.